Americans shouldn't be concerned about any vaccine at this moment. I mean, it's extremely rare to develop this sort of condition after getting vaccinated with uh, the Johnson & Johnson vaccine. Just over a course of a year in the U.S., just on its own, 3,000 to 6,000 people develop Guillain-Barre syndromes from other vaccines, from viruses, from bacteria. So the fact that we're only even seeing just 100 out of the 12.8 million uh, vaccines administered shows that it's extremely rare. On Monday, the FDA announced that they're updating the label on the Johnson & Johnson COVID-19 vaccine to include a warning that says there may be an increased risk of developing a neuro neurological disorder called Guillain-Barre syndrome. Developing this condition is extremely rare. I believe the FDA have only uh, gone through about 100 preliminary reports of this condition and the Johnson & Johnson vaccine has been administered about 12.8 million times in the US. What the FDA found so far in the trends and in, in investigating uh, the data is that it seems as though the people who have been reported to develop this adverse event develop it within 42 days uh, of vaccination and it's um, mostly in adults older than 50. It does range in severity, you know, it's not sort of like the end all be all while some people do suffer from permanent uh, symptoms such as paralysis or stuff like that. Other people, you know, only suffer from really mild symptoms like a tingling in your fingers or a tingling in your feet for a few weeks or a few months. Officials said that 70% of people fully recover from Guillain-Barre syndrome.